Hi Cancers, thank you for viewing me today. You guys, welcome in and welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. Apologize about that incense, but let's begin your general reading. This is good for all placements, for the collective, for the beautiful sign of Cancers. Whatever resonates best for you. This is going to be your current energies I'm about to look at. I've seen a few cards fall out. It was chaos and conflict, the sun with the waiting game. I feel that there's a lot of situations around you right now, Cancers, that are trying to show you that things need to change and it's all of us, everybody, for new beginnings. It is going to be a big transition in your life right now for something of more abundance and happiness in the near future. The cards that flew out is the Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success. I have Hope, Partnerships and Alliances, and we have New Beginnings. Underneath the deck, though, is I do have material and financial changes. I have a lot of uh, power around you. This is big courage and strength. And I have obstacles and challenges to get to your wish fulfillment. Um, there's things around you right now, Cancers, that are flying at you to show you something that everything you cherish with your heart will be delivered. But make sure the choices that you make are with a clear truth. Now, the Ace of Swords is a card of victory and success, but it's an ace and it's a sword. Telling me that there's certain situations that you're cutting through right now as far as seeing the clarity of it. But use your power wisely. In other words, right now we're in a retrograde and right now this is the new year. And I feel that with all the planetary action we've had with the eclipses, it's about new beginnings for change, for a better us, for a better tomorrow, for humanity. For humanity. You know, this is a wake-up call for everybody to change us so we can change our lives and change the future for everyone. And I feel right now you're having a lot of wake-up calls about things in your life that you want, but there's a part of you that's beckoning you for change. Let's look. Current energies for the sign of cancer, please. This reading is for. What do I need to see? Thank you. Current energies for the sign of cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? No. You guys, the card that flew. Are you ready? The waiting game. Things are changing all around you. And this is the card of luck and right timing. But the sand isn't through the hourglass yet. It's almost there. Because we are in a transition phase right now. For new beginnings. Underneath the deck is I have the... Uh, round and round i have memories of love but there's beautiful things that are actually flying at you because the eight of wands are good omens to me to get you to the places where you want to be that are truly your heart's desire your wish fulfillment but you see this card right here this is recycled energy and i can't express enough that we don't realize sometimes we cherish things that we should let go of the things that once touched our heart there will always be a part of you cancer you are ruled by your heart. You are water. You are emotion. But there's some things that you've been playing over and over and over again that I feel spirit guides are trying to tell me you need to let go of. Because there's actually beautiful things flying at you right now. Because the eight of wands are beautiful omens. We just, we don't realize how beautiful they are. That is going to lead you somewhere where you truly want to be. Your, your heart's desires of your wishes. But there's some obstacles you need to get around right now. And I feel the obstacles are telling me that you need to slow down on how you're reacting to certain situations in your life. This reading will not resonate with everyone. I always have certain messages for certain people. First card to my left is there's positive movement forward. You know, your ship is sailing towards the sun. It's moving. It's, it's going. But you need to hold on to something and it's your spiritual strength a faith commitment to something bigger and better a better you and look at the truth of everything not your truth the big truth like i always tell people you know it's so easy to have our own opinion our own situation of what we think the truth is but if you look at the bigger picture if we see something for a clarity in the right way it's going to push you forward towards the places you need to be I have the Ace of Swords shown up again, and this is a card of victory, you guys. It is a card of triumph and success, but it's an Ace of Swords. It can hurt. 
that right now it's about you finding the truth about certain situations in your life and looking at everything in a higher vibration for looking at everything that you truly want in life with a higher element of belief and understanding because the card that flew to my right is the weighing game it's telling me that everything is actually playing out for you in divine timing it's moving in the right direction but there's some things right now that you need to maneuver around and it's about how you're working with other people and other situations in your life and seeing it for what it truly is and understanding that everything you're going through is to get you to a bigger place because these are beautiful things flying at you, Cancers, and they're trying to push you towards the things you truly want in life, your fulfillment of your wishes. You need to hold on to your spiritual strength and stop recycling old energy of emotion. Now, you know, I'm going to look at your incoming, but I can already tell you that what's coming towards you is a sense of renewal, a sense of new beginnings, a sense of knowing that things are possible again. I feel like right now what you're going through is you're, you're, you're decluttering certain situations in your life and you feel up, like you're up against a lot of obstacles, but I feel spirit guides are telling me you might have your back to a window, but they want you to turn around and look at something in a new optimistic way. It's going to push your ship towards the sun. Everybody's readings have been about moving into a new direction a higher element of vibration, a bigger element. You know, it's time for all of us, not just you, all of us, to realize that there's a bigger picture and it's about the it's about humanity and, and spreading more love and light because we are in the age of Aquarius for the next 2,000 years, which is about a new way of looking at something, a new, a higher level of humanitarianism. A bigger picture because everybody in this world is always me 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 these eclipses that we just had were to change a major change a shift in the vibration of this planet and I feel right now spirit is God spirit guides are telling me to tell you to turn around look at the window in a new way look through the window in a new way you have the spiritual strength have the faith have the commitment there's a lot of things flying at you cancers to push you off in a new direction to get you towards your wish fulfillment but everything right now for you cancer is about truth and it's the clear truth and everything is going to play out in your favor that sand is almost through that hourglass i feel spirit guides are telling me to hold on to your own spiritual strength turn around and look through the window in a new way why are you going through something you're going through is there something you're not seeing for a higher evolution of enlightenment? You can yell at me, it's okay, because all the readings have been the same way, but the incomings have been magnificent. Now, let's look at your recent past a little bit. If it sounds like something you're going through, Cancers, I'm gonna tell you something. We don't realize that sometimes things keep flying at us and we're like, why does this keep coming at me? It's to show you something about recycled energies. They want you to shift something because what's coming at you right now is actually blessings in disguise to push you on towards your wish fulfillment. Whatever that might be. Recent past, there's messages here. Night of Earth, a solid night. It's a night going after something of more stability, something bigger and better, more solid. A very brave night. Nine of Pentacles, feeling whole again. Self-mastery. The King of Pentacles, being a success. Gateways were open, but you were always feeling like you were going against opposition and I just feel that whatever you had to go through recently behind you had to teach you something about one sure steady foot at a time you know being very methodical about your investments feeling whole again as far as self mastery but you were going up against forces and what I mean by that I feel like they were old energies and I feel spirit guides are telling me right now, I tell you to have the spiritual strength to look at something in a new way and watch how everything is about to play out in your favor and the near future. Recent past for my beautiful Cancerians. There's messages here, you guys. It's going to bring me right to your current energies. It's about letting go of something old so something new can be rebirthed. I see it all around you. Recent past for the sign of Cancers. What do I need to see? need to see for messages for the recent past for cancers please thank you anything else 
king of swords, the king of truth, the king of integrity, the visionary. Eight of pentacles, a lot of work into something. Ten of pentacles, your ultimate stability. Ace of wands and taking a leap of faith. You wanted to go towards something new, but emotionally there was thir things you needed to walk away from. Now the eight of cups is telling me that there was something recently behind you that once made you happy, but it didn't make you happy anymore. I feel you started seeing the truth about the things you were putting work into and I feel what you really wanted was more passion, new inspiration. I feel that whatever you went through had to teach you something about truth, integrity, honesty, the visionary, but not being too set in your ways. There was something you were manifesting. There was something you kept putting out there and I feel it was about your wish fulfillment. You kept hoping for something, but let's look. I have the Empress, love the Empress, and then I have big old justice. You guys, justice is all about what's right, what's wrong in reality. It's not about what we, we think, but it's about really looking at something about, is everything really balanced? Because this is a very nurturing energy and it's telling me that recently behind you, you had to learn something about nurturing and tending to your own garden. Because the Empress is all about beauty and inner beauty. And it's with the big major arcana justice, two big major arcanas. And I feel whatever you've been through recently behind you had to teach you something about fighting for what was right, but also finding balance with the scales, finding an energy of nurturing everything, tending to your own garden, nurture the things you love, the people you love, and watch the things that will grow. But you had to learn something about your scales and fighting for what was right. And it might have been a little bit overboard because I have a big seven of wands next. And that could be a little overboard. Sometimes we fight so hard that we don't realize we're fighting the, our own energies. Because this is about claiming your personal power. But I always go by how I feel on the cards. And I feel that you're overstanding your ground with something a little bit too much. Because maybe perhaps in the past you got hurt. And it, this can be a hard energy to walk away from something we once wanted. It's, it's a hard energy. But I see the next three cards. And this is coming into your current energies. I have beautiful angel temperance, finding patience, balance, knowing everything is going to be okay, but it's patience. Not acting upon anything, just trusting in something. I have the high priestess, an inner knowing, your intuition. It's deep and it's silent. And I have everything in your life right now is playing out because it's a part of your path. Now, the levers to me is choices and destiny. We always have the choice to change our own destiny because we have free will. You know, and I feel spirit guides are telling me right now, you have a lot of choices to make. And I feel that they're asking me to ask you is for the betterment of yourself and mankind, of doing what you really know is right in your heart, not out of ego. Now, you guys, my reading is, was the same way. I'm not here to bash anybody, but what we've had with all this planetary action recently was big wake up calls for everybody because we will be tested again in six months during the next eclipse season. Because we are in the new year and I'm gonna tell you right now, I want you to hold on to your spiritual strength. I want you to look through the window and with a new truth, a new vision of what you want in life and the clarity and spirit guides are telling me what you will pull in will be of more abundance, more happiness. Everything will play out in your favor because I saw the way the waiting game flew. Tell me everything's playing out in your favor, but right now the choices you're making, make sure you're making the right choices with your truth, with a new truth, with looking out a new window. It will change a part of your destiny, your path, in a more beautiful direction for your wish fulfillment. This was beautiful. Truly it was. Now I'm looking at what's coming in for you because you know it's gonna be beautiful. You know it is. Uh, the wisdom of the oracle. That's where I'm going. All right, you guys, strongest incoming. I have a little chaos and conflict. Hold on, I'll take a few. I have the orphaned, and then I have go the distance to your treasure island with building blocks, and that's one brick at a time. I'll run into that. Co create deep knowing. I feel like spirit guides are telling me that if you come across any chaos and conflict in the next few weeks, Trust your own intuition through something. Listen to that silent knowing that everything is going to work out for you. Don't jump the gun on something, just trust. Everything's gonna play out just fine. Let's see what they wanna say. Incoming energies for cancers, thank you. What do I need to see? Strongest. Incoming energies. 
for the sign of Cancers. Okay, ah, I got three cards. Uh, I have a clean slate. This is the yin, you guys. It's like a fresh start. All right, now you're open to receive. It's your treasure island. Who's underneath that? Building blocks, one brick at a time, meaning that you're going to climb back on top to anything you want in life, but do it one step at a time. Do it with very thoughtful energy in your next plan. There's something coming in. It's a clean slate. It's going to bring you to a bigger and better place. You need to be flexible with things in the next few weeks, meaning don't fight the forces. Go with the flow. And there's something coming in towards you, the cheetah. And it's truth be told. And the owl has a window, a new truth, a new vision, a new viewpoint. Listen to your deep knowing, Cancers. Listen to your intuition. You have it and it's strong. The spirit guides are telling me something's going to push you out of a new place. This is a new life, a new vibration, a bigger vibration. When we come into a deeper truth, when we come into a deeper understanding, we raise our vibration. When we raise our vibration, things start coming our way. I feel spirit guides are telling me in the next few weeks, be very methodical about every move you make. Go with the flow of the energies for the day. Plant one brick at a time every day and watch where it takes you and trust your intuition. The card in front of me is peace, telling me to tell you to let go and let God, let go and trust in something here. But do it in a beautiful way with your heart, with gratitude, with love. Let go and trust. The next card they gave me is a message in a bottle. You know, when I see the stork landing here on top of the body of emotion, it's pulling something up from the waters. It's a new way. It's a new thought. It's more information. It's news from situations you've been waiting for. But something is about to be hand delivered, I feel. Because the last card they gave me is by the book. Here is the message, you guys. This is about you guys trudging forward because the giant elephants, they really mean no harm to anybody. They are the most beautiful land creature, but they always trudge forward by their own book. Meaning that as long as you keep moving forward by your own book, new things will keep being rebirthed around you to push you forward. There's something coming in to give you the strength and courage that you need to see something with a new way. I feel spirit guides are telling me to tell you that you got to let go and trust in something here in the next few weeks. You're being pushed into a higher vibration, a bigger place. Trust your own intuition. It's going to push you forward. And then you have the giant owl with truth be told, a new window in your hands and your slate is clean. Now you're ready to receive. Everything of the incoming energies has been being open to new beginnings, being open to something new with a new way. This is the new year. They're wiping everybody's board clean. They're saying it's time for you to see something and a new viewpoint, a new truth. You've been through something from the past where you had to learn to nurture yourself and plant your own beautiful garden. All right. It was beautiful, Cancers. The readings have been really, really weird lately. I know we're in a retrograde, but this is very slow energy. So plant one brick at a time. Think about your next move, but make sure you do it in the right way. That's why I feel the messages and everything will play out in your favor. So let's look at some messages from spirit guides today because I feel they're going to tell you cancers. Everything is here for abundant new beginnings. When we raise our vibration, we attract a higher vibration. When we start to want the things in life for betterment, we start to attract everything of abundance, you guys, in all aspects. All right, let's get some messages. All right, who do I want to use today? I'm going to use the green deck today. I don't know why I feel like going over here. These are messages from spirit guides. I will get some angel messages afterwards and I'll do love crossing. Four of swords. This is the card of rest and renewal. Sometimes we need to lay down our heart and our mind and let energies go. I don't know who's under these decks. This is about seeing something with a new truth. The ace of swords, the clarity, the vision. You will have a victory. I feel like they're telling me to tell you it's time to let go of things that have wounded you. You are ruled by your heart. We all get hurt. It's time to let something go. Put the past behind you and get moving. Old things are gone. The Ten of Swords is a completion. Put the past behind you. 
This is you, Cancer. You're ruled by your own intuition. You know how to maneuver around obstacles. It's time for you to get going towards something you truly want in your life for your ultimate happiness. I feel spirit guides are telling me it's time for you to see the truth of situations in your life. Recharge your battery. There's a new you that's about to be rebirthed is what I feel they're trying to tell me because I saw transformation. I'm going to card to do the talking. Spirit guides, what messages do you have for my beautiful cancers today? I'll see. If you can tell cancers any messages today about this reading, please. What messages do you have for the sign of cancers? What would you like to tell the sign of cancers today, please? What messages do you have for the sign of cancers? What other messages for the sign of cancers today, please? Thank you. Anything else? Nope. They're all in the order I take them, underneath the deck. Oh, the weights. You know, I'll tell you about the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is telling me, you know, sometimes we just keep piling stuff on top of ourselves. Uh, Ten of Wands is burdens, you know, or things that just keep weighing on top of you. It's time to see the truth and clarity of something because you're, you will have victory and success. You know, the Ace of Swords is a new way of thinking, a new vision, a new viewpoint. It's going to push you forward, but it's time for you to release some dead weight. So I'm going to say, dead weight of burdens you've been carrying around because those chapters are closed. The world, whenever we get the world, it's telling me that you went through something. It taught you something about yourself. I feel it taught you something about your, your own truth, your own integrity, being the visionary, but also making sure all your scales were balanced in the right way. You know, the world. After the world is the fool, you guys, new beginnings. Chapters are closed. It's time to see something in a new enlightenment, a new way. It's time to release some dead weight, meaning old burdens are coming around. I have your nine of cups in reverse, your wish fulfillment. Hold on. It's time to see something in a new way. The page of swords, the thinker, the watcher. It's new air energy. Spirit guides are telling me to tell you if you really want something in your life for your wish fulfillment, for the things you truly want with your heart's desire, shift your viewpoint and look at something with a new truth. We can only attract what we truly want in life if we have the clarity that we truly need in the right way. Because spirit guides want me to tell you that everything is aligning for you and going to play out in your favor. You guys got the wheel of fortune and you guys got the world. I mean, it, I, the message has been so clear today. I feel like spirit guides are telling me old chapters are closed. New beginnings are here. This is all aligning for you, but it has to be aligned by the universe with the planet Jupiter. They're telling me if you learn to release the burdens that you've been carrying around out of resentment or grudges or something that hurt you and look at something with a new truth that it made you a bigger and better person, your wishes shall be fulfilled. But it's time for you to realize that whatever's hurt you, whatever you've been through, those chapters are over because the wheel wants to play out in your favor and it will start rolling in towards the end of April. Everything is just going to start going your way for new beginnings. But once again, it's about, I don't know, truth of new vision, a new viewpoint, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, World, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. You got everything of abundance flying in for you for new chapters right here. It wants to get you to your wish fulfillment. It's just your viewpoint that needs to change. And it's time to release dead weight, stuff that you've been carrying around for far too long because the Wheel of Fortune wants to play in your favor for new chapters. Wow, Cancers, that was magnificent. Your wish fulfillment is right here. It's all in, it's all in your energy. I'm not going to repeat myself. I think you guys got the miss. Now I'm going to get some angel cards that always ties this reading together for you, my beautiful Cancers. This was beautiful. Let's see what they want to say. I'll ask for three cards. For the sign of Cancers today, Spirit Guides. I would love three angel cards for messages from my beautiful Cancers. What other cards do you have for Cancer today, please? Okay, so I'm going to take this. That's all I need. 
Underneath the deck is the Six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Looks like you're going to a bigger place. All right, let's look at your cards. I can't wait, actually. First card to my left. They gave you the star. Wow, you guys. Talk about a sense of renewal. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of difficult situations. They gave you the five of Ariel. Angel Ariel has something to say to you. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. We all do it. But they gave you the star, and that is a big major arcana. It's Aquarius energy, but it trumps everything. Believe in yourself. Okay. The last card they gave you is the King of Raphael, the King of Love himself, Angel Raphael. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Follow your heart. Follow where it takes you. It's safe to trust your own heart, Cancers. I feel like spirit guides are telling me, trust your own heart and watch where it takes you. Stop going through a place of negative thoughts of self-fulfilling prophecies. They're not going to work out for you because it's the end of difficult situ situations. Believe in yourself, the star. It's a dream come true. Wow, Cancers, that was beautiful. Your reading today really hit me and I hope it helped you. It's the light at the end of the tunnel and this is beautiful. I hope it helped you. All right, you guys, I wanna thank you all for your love and support. I'm rolling into love crossing. So if you're in harmonious unions or not dealing with anyone right now, the love crossing is for people going through situations with love energies. I always ask for the strongest. All right, you guys, thank you for viewing me. Have a beautiful day. Love and blessings to you all. For my cancers out there dealing with somebody or some buddies and they're like, what's going on? I'm going to find out right now. I, you know, listen, I'm going to go right here. We all grow at our own pace. We all do our own things. But let's see what we got here. Oh, I got somebody who's really standing their ground about something. Got the lovers and the two of pentacles. Someone's going back and forth, huh? The queen of cups, cancer energy. Oh, okay, you guys, this is what I feel. I always go by how I feel, but this is a very deep connection. Somebody's been going back and forth about claiming their own personal power, standing their ground a little bit too much. But I feel that they still have deep love for you. They can't, it's like they can't get you out of their heart. They can't get you out of their heart. I'm just letting you know. Love crossing, let's see what their energy is all about. Love crossing energy strongest for the sign of cancer. Hmm. What would you like to show me? Strongest love crossing energies my cancers have been dealing, dealing with. Please, thank you. Strongest love crossing. Hmm. Anything else? Wow. I felt some really weird stuff the way they were choppy. Before I even look, I feel whoever you've been dealing with is fighting something here, even though they know they need to give in. An ace of wands, they want a new beginning with you, a passionate one at that. Very fiery energy. They're ten of cups, but they're going back and forth, and it's with a lot of courage, a lot of determination, the king of fire. The king of wands, you know. King of Wands is all about winning the war, but King of the King of Wands may lose a battle, but that king's determined to win. But I just feel like this person's going back and forth about starting something fresh with you because you brought them a lot of happiness and staying in their own power of determination. They want something to change between the two of you. They really are hoping that some type of information will come towards them so something will change and play out in their favor. Yeah. All right. I got you right here, and let's look. I have the High Priestess, Big Temperance, Queen of Cups is sideways. Last card out is Eight of Pentacles. 
How do I feel here? Um, you know, you're right here. And it's like a person who's really trying to make something work here. They're listening to their intuition. But at the same time, I feel this person is very focused on something else. Why do I feel this person is very focused on what they're going to get from you? Why am I even saying that? Like they're trying to pull you out of something. They're trying to pull you towards them because this king don't give up. Now, I know this king. It's a beautiful king. Very charismatic. Charming. Passionate. But very determined. Can be This king does not bow down. And they're, like, they're going back and forth about something playing out in their favor and standing in their own determination about having something they want to win out. This person's putting a lot of work into something. They're trusting their intuition how to make something work here with you. But I got you sideways, the Queen of Cups. They can't read you. They don't know something. This person is hoping that something will change between the two of you. But right now you're unreadable to this person. They can't tap into you. They can't, they, they don't feel, like they, they're so determined to win at something here with you. Why do I feel this person feels like you're gone? They, they don't know. They feel like my intuition's telling me something to be patient, to wait. They're putting a lot of work into something. They're very focused on something because pentacles is money, work. But for some reason, I feel like this person can't read you right now. They don't know if they should wait. Or they don't know whether they should jump in. Their energies are very confused right now. I actually feel very bad for this person because what they want is they want a new beginning with you for their ultimate happiness, but they're, they're going to fight this battle with you for change. They want something to change between the two of you, but they cannot read you right now. They're com completely confused. They may be focusing a lot on something else right now because they are just trying to trust their intuition, but they're, they can't tap into you. And maybe that's why this person is determined to win at something here. They want a new beginning with you. They feel that you brought them a lot of happiness. This is really interesting, Cancers, what's going on here. Well, retrograde really makes everybody a little messed up. Let's look at their intentions. That was really peculiar. Um, strongest intentions, six of swords showing up. The nine of pentacles, nine of swords. And someone who wants to try to talk to you, communicate. Because they have a broken heart. Aww. From words that have been spoken. Or may, they may try to say things to you to hurt you. But this is what I feel. I just feel whoever this is, is trying to get reaction out of you. Because they don't know how you feel, Cancers. You know, this person's got deep love for you. The Ten of Cups is here. Mm. Love crossing attention towards cancers, please. Next few weeks. Strongest. Love crossing intentions. Thank you. Toward the sign of cancers. Thank you. Anything else I need to see? Strongest. Intentions. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm waiting to receive from you. King of Swords, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. You guys, this is not good. The Knight of Swords. Oh my God, this is all air energy. Holy mackerel. Their intentions to try to break the ice. They're going to try to break the ice. Now, I don't know how badly you've been hurt. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe this person feels, you know, you hurt them. I don't know. But I know this person's going to try to break the ice. They're going to do whatever they need to do to, to get through to you about something. They want to feel whole again, you guys. They want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. They want to reverse something new with the king of love. Oh, cancers are coming in. I just know they're coming in. I can feel it. The knight of love. They're coming in. They're going to try to patch something up. The knight of earth. These are brave knights, you guys. This person is coming in. They're going to try to do one steady foot at a time. They're going to try to use whatever romantic words they can say. They want to reverse something new with you. They can't live with a broken heart anymore. They're hoping to receive. They're tired of feeling wounded about something. And the five of wands. Wow. Talk about fickle fackle energy. Listen, whoever this is in the next few weeks is they're going to try to get their foot in the door with some really sweet words. They're going to try to say something to reverse something new. But if it doesn't work out for them as a plan, because they have a plan. I saw the king of wands. 
and the King of Swords. Kings always have plans. They're going to fight with you about something. They want to get past something with you, but they are coming back around. They're going to try to plant something with stability. They're going to try to nurture something, and they're coming in with their big cup of love. They want something to flourish with you. But I feel this person is methodically thinking that they're going to go ahead and try this. And if it doesn't work out right, they're going to give you some backlash. I don't mean in a bad way. I just mean they're going to be like, fine. You know what? If this is how you want it, fine. Because of the retrograde. We're all not thinking right emotionally. You know, and I just feel this person has to find some balance in their life with equal give and take. It's on both sides of the spectrum. I tell people every day, all relationships have to have equal give and take. They have to have trust. They have to have respect and anything can flourish. But this person, this could be reversed. I'm not taking sides. Whoever this is, it's very one-sided. Okay. They're going to try to mend something here with you. If this is somebody you want to work on it with, you go very slow. If this is somebody that you're not 100% sure about, go super slow. And if this is somebody you want nothing to do with, you saw your reading, it's a new viewpoint, a new truth. Wheel of Fortune is going to play out in your favor, push you towards a better place for your wish fulfillment, Cancers, whatever you want with your heart's desires for new beginnings. I'm going to leave this here because energy shift like the wind. But I do know this person's coming in, without a doubt. They're going to try to offer you something more solid. They're going to come in with some love words. They're coming in. They're, 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 they're coming in, you guys. They want, to, they want to get this basket past the fence for something new. But if this person feels like they don't receive from you in the right way, they're going to give you a little bit of backlash because their pride will be hurt because they're a very prideful person. And then, you know, just like I said, I'm going to leave it where it's at. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, you guys. Love and blessings to you all. I wish you all much love and light. Thank you for your love and support. Have a beautiful day. You're going to have a beautiful tomorrow. And have a beautiful day, you guys. Thank you.